Hi friends, my name is Sudhir Koe. I am the logo guru and the graphologist. You must have seen my last video where I discussed about the five tips of a good, amazing signature. And in this video, I am going to continue the same process where I am going to make your knowledge more strong, more better in in case of signatures. Since last fourteen years, I have been decoding. The mystery of symbols, logos, and graphology to unleash the life, business, and finances. So now, whenever I talk about signatures, the first thing which you need to know about signature is signature has four parts. Hmm. Yeah, four parts. So when I say about when I say a uh, four parts, the first part is uh, kind of your own name, your father's name, your surname. And you know the surname will be divided into two parts again: the initial of the surname and the remainder of the surname. So the first part, which you are, can see right now over here, the first part. This first part tells about what exactly is your behavior. You know, you as a person. If you are a female, how you behave as a girl. If you are a male, how you behave as a uh, boy. When you go for the second initial or second uh, middle name so middle name will always tell us you know the way we are going to behave as a father whenever we have father's initial or father's name in the signature that particular that particular thing will tell us about how exactly are we going to behave as a father or how our father behave with me or the, how the father behave with us. So the people who don't include the father's name in their signature, what happens to them? It's like they have not seen their father in their life much. So because they have not seen their father in their own life, now what happens? Now they don't include their father's name in the signature. Why? Because they feel like the father is not worthy enough to be part of their life because father was not part of their life when they wanted it. So this is the meaning of the uh, middle name, uh, father's name in the signature. And then comes the third thing, the initial of the surname. Now this initial of surname will always talk about you as a mother. Now I'm not talking about lady over here, it's about male as well because male also is going to perform somewhere as a mother. So how exactly are you going to perform? as a mother how exactly you will behave emotionally how exactly your mother behave with you all those things will be there in the first initial of your surname and then comes the now then comes the remainder portion of the surname which is the fourth part so this fourth part the remainder portion of the surname will always talk about the way you are going to occupy the time it's not about you performing something it's not about the profession but it's about the way you are going to occupy the time so this particular thing will tell us the way we spend our time whether we are communicating we are whether we are not communicating whether we are taking shortcuts whether we are performing a lot of hard work all those things will be revealed by this fourth portion okay so now if i want to make you make you aware about the five signatures which are going to have impact in your life you know i'm going to make you aware about five ways in which you should not indulge in making signature so the here rest of the part you will see when i'm talking about the five signatures uh, which you should not make which might trouble your life a lot so friend as we discuss i'm going to discuss now these five signatures with you and as i told you in the previous part this signature, this signature is going to be divided into four parts, one, two, three and four. So as I told you, one being the boy, said two being the uh, father, three being the lady and four being the occupation of time. So now if you observe the first signature, what is happening in the first signature? The S is getting overlapped by the L. And what happens when a L, the father's initial is bigger and it is getting overlapping overlap on s now the father 
the fatherly behavior the fatherly emotions boss emotions all those things will be dominating towards the s so now the s the person s the person boy will always find it difficult to express his emotions so as a father this person will express his emotions but as a boy he will always get dominated by the fatherly feelings so it's difficult for he this particular person to talk to bosses to express his desires wish or you know imagination or ideas uh, in front of the father now if you go and analyze the second type of signature now what is happening in the second type of signature is like dot here there is a dot here there is a dot here there is a dot now what happens in case of dotting so dotting is nothing but you are trying to create the boundaries between you and the other person so here now this s is separate this l is separate this this co is separate and now again the moment you give dot o at the end of the signature is like you are creating a wall between you and the rest of the world so now it's difficult for you to communicate so if you go and check the signature of sushant singh rajput you will find similar kind of dotting happening in the signature of sushant singh rajput so no wonder it was difficult for him to go out in the public and communicate with other people so it was like he was always having the barrier in his life for a communication with other people so now the third kind of signature here what is happening here now s and l both are getting dominated by the k now the entire game is changing over here first s got dominated by l and now l got dominated by k so it's like this person will be very very emotional this person will always have emotional aspect towards everything and he will do everything emotionally and his mother will always be dominant on him on his father as well so this is the third kind of signature now if you are doing the fourth kind of signature what is happening over here is like this person is encapsulating himself in this formation so with this kind of as this kind of uh, encapsulation is difficult for this person to grow big in life so he will always struggle to create a big picture he will always struggle to go out of his comfort zone he will always struggle to express himself comfortably so it's like he is hiding under the cover all the time and similar concept goes to the number 5 as well but here if you observe this person was only hiding himself he was not trying to hide a lot of other things but here in the in the case of fifth signature now this person it's like this person will hide everything which is possible to hide you know this person will not have the clarity in terms of uh, execution he will always try to cheat he will always try to hide some things he will, he will always try to you know not reveal things to the people which are at times you know mundane and normal so so this was this is what i was talking about this is a part two video of our uh five tips of signatures so these kind of signatures you must avoid to grow in life so if you have like this content please don't forget to subscribe like and comment on this particular video thank you very much for watching and see you soon guys keep sharing you my videos keep showing your love on me and thank you very much for giving us so much of viewership in last one year thank you